in the last two videos, we saw how to make the character sit and to create tables and chairs. Now, in this video, we're going to learn a new simulation element. Okay, as you can see here, we have in this new scene I've created. Okay, I'm I'm using this background model, the sandbox one, the first one we saw, and I've created this situation here. Okay, we have this socializing area, we have these two tables with people chatting and conversating and so on. So what I want is as um, how can I make characters from this floor get to this one? Well, someone would say, well, just model some stairs. Yes, that could be a nice solution, but it's a static one. Say that we have, for the reason of our project that is being designed this way, we have here not static stairs, but escalators. So in that case, how we could solve this? Well, actually, Mm. The case is that Anima comes with an escalator tool, okay? So we are going to learn how to use it, okay? So we find it right below the path tool, and there it is, okay? So left-click on it, okay? And then we enter the creation mode. And as you can see, mm, we have this 3D cursor, let's say, and it's red. This cursor is red because something is not um, it's not good. I mean, there is something wrong. Mm, sorry. And this is because we haven't still, mm, this is what he's asking Anima to us to do, to define a starting point. So just left click to define the starting point and then drag. As you can see, this is a similar situation to the path, okay, where we have a sort of elastic line defined. In this case, uh, we have defined the starting point, so we have the two platforms, the starting platform, the end platform, and all the steps of the escalator. At the moment, is an horizontal escalator, and you would say, well, this is something strange. Well, actually, no, we have this. Ex they exist, okay? So, at the moment, what we need is to define the ending point. So, if we try, you can see, we have to be careful because uh, this element reads also walls and we don't want to um, create an ending point on a wall, okay? This would be a problem. So we can go here, as you can see, then uh, wait for the snap to be working, and then left click to confirm, okay? And that's it, this is our escalator, okay? Now, it's a bit strange, Alt-E to center the selection, okay? But as you can see, we have our, our bound, bounding box, we have our manipulator, and then we have the new elements. We have, of course, the models, hmm? uh, the ending platform, the starting platform, and the steps. But we also have this arrow, hmm? which tell us uh, the direction towards which the escalator is moving, okay? And then we have two spheres, two nodes in this case. The green one is the starting point, and the red one is the ending point, okay? So very, very simple. This element is different from the socializing area, for example, because you can click on it to select it. This is exactly as the path, okay? We have no icon. But at the same time, we can select these nodes here, and as you probably mm, understand, mm, guess, these are movable, actually. We can change the direction and the escalator will update immediately, okay? So this situation here is, well, an example of it, but it's not the right example. We don't want the characters to be moving, uh, crossing and overlapping the background model, okay? So let's control Z, hmm? let's save always, and what we can do is, for example, move this, okay? So I can do this, 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 this. So, according to the position mm, and locations of these two nodes, the inclination of the escalator will be set, will be defined. Mm? Very well. Now, let's see something about the options, okay, the properties. So, we select the escalator tool, well, the escalator in this case, and in the properties panel on the right, we have, first of all, these buttons. Okay, we are going to um, talk about them in a moment. But before, I want to talk about the escalator properties section. Well, the first option is something we already know, is the option that let us set a specific motion clip or a category of motion clips for the characters mm, moving on this element. Mm, in this case, it's set to escalator category. Then we have the speed. Then this value is a bit tricky. 
mm, because it's reversed. Mm. The higher the value, the slower the lower is the speed. Okay. Then the smaller is the speed value, the higher is the speed. Well, let's see how it works. Okay. So here hit spacebar and this is the standard speed, mm, 0.5 value, the default one. If we select this and we change it to let's say 0 0.25 mm, we should double the speed mm, let's see if it it is so and yes it is okay i sincerely prefer to leave it the to 0 0.5 mm, usually is the a good value okay then we have the incline mm, the incline is actually the value of in degrees of the inclination between the floor where the starting point is and the floor where the ending point is mm? and in this case it is set to zero and this could be a bit confusing okay misleading in, in general well first of all this option is the one controlled by these four buttons which are actually presets of this option 10 15 30 35 degrees okay so we could set just by clicking here directly a specific value okay now when this value the inclined value is set to zero mm, we are able to freely move the starting and ending point okay but if for example we set this to 15 degrees inclination okay as you can see problem comes because well actually when red is when the escalator is red as in the beginning when we were creating it it means that there is something is not working at the moment the problem is the ending point it does not have any surface so in when we define an incline value a specific one different from zero above zero in this case we are locking the inclination so these uh, nodes can move only until they get they can guarantee they can guarantee this inclination let's say i want to move this and then i release as you can see it, it snaps directly here well there because this way this escalator inclination will be set to 15 will be guaranteed to be 15 degrees okay so at the moment what i will do is just to select it set the incline to zero and get in this this back okay i will just uh, something like this okay just adjust it that's it okay this is very simple really not not a problem and then the last option is the width the width in this case of the escalator okay we have two a minimum value of six, 600 millimeters which means 60 centimeters and a maximum value of 2000 2000 millimeters which means two meters okay i will set this to 1.2 meters mm? this is the value millimeters mm? corresponding okay that's it now this is fine and very nice mm? but what uh, can i do to make characters go and use this escalator well as you can see we have no crowd section here so we cannot generate characters on top of an escalator and as you remember even the path cannot generate characters on top of stairs so this is something in common okay but before mm, having a look how to make characters using this escalator mm, i think that we need one more why is that well this escalator is for going up but what about going down so at the moment what we are going to do well very simple we are going to copy this but not using the clone option or Control c Control v but we are going to use the manipulator as we saw in the previous video so shift key pressed click and drag and i will place it right here mm? so we can place it right mm, parallel to the first one but we still have the problem because we have two escalators exactly the same mm? both will go upstairs so with this escalator selected we click on this button here and we reverse the direction very simple straightforward okay that's okay so let's save it mm -hmm. then hit escape to deselect so here we have it but what we need now is how we can have people 
using this. Well, we're going to use the path. Okay, we're going to create a path, in this case here, with the walkway tool, left click, and I will do something like this. Left click here, and then, as you can see, as soon as I mm, go over the starting point of this escalator, Anima asks me, uh, do you want to link this path to this escalator? As you can see, this chain icon appears, and I confirm by clicking with the left mouse button, okay? And that's it, and that's it, and Anima continues the path on top mm, of the surface, mm, where the escalator ends. And I keep going, mm, doing something like this, and doing the same here, okay? So left click, and I can continue here. And now right click to close the path. Well, not close, to end the path, okay? And that's it. As you can see, this is very, very interesting, okay? First of all, mm, um, have a look here. We have this icon that means that the path has been set to only one direction. And this makes sense because the escalators have only one direction. Mm, we couldn't have this. So with the path selected, selected sorry as it is now we go to the path properties the path direction mode and we actually confirm that it's set to forward well we could try to set it to both we if we try it it doesn't work okay so just keep in mind well when we have a path linked to escalators means that we cannot change anything of the path yes we can okay we simply have to consider that these are linked so for example this moment i can do this Okay, I can even move this element here mm. and just changing the shape of the path, something like this. Okay, and as you can see, the path is updating, mm. always linked to these escalators. Same thing goes here. Okay, I won't do this, it's quite, quite clear. Okay, so now we select the path, mm. let's save it, and actor count, let's say 10. Mm. and uh, we click generate and there we have it now keep in mind always the same thing we cannot ask anima well we can but we probably would have some issues we can ask anima to have a lot of people a lot of characters on this path going up and down to uh, onto the escalators this could lead to collisions issues okay as as always anima will try always to satisfy your needs but you need to keep in mind that you have to give it space to do that okay so at the moment space bar and there you have it okay some of the characters will just go socializing then going back to the path and using the escalators okay very simple and very very nice so this is a, a typical mm, situation where you we can use multiple elements here we are using a path escalators socializing area table so as you can see the more we go on the more we can do and see we can the potential of this great tool which is anima okay the last thing i want to ah well yes one thing is what happens if i move the escalator like this nothing the path follows okay this is very useful imagine that you are working on a background model okay on a project on this area so you had to change the position of one of the escalators the distance so we, you just reimport the model which by the way we will see in a later video how to do this and uh, then you just have to move the escalator and the path will move itself so you actually can update and not have to redo the entire uh, work okay so this is very interesting and yes the last thing i want to to show you is how we can keep going with this i say i want to create another escalator in this case an horizontal one okay so same thing left click to start left click to end mm. this escalator will be well let's say a bit wider okay well i will move this like here okay and then what i can do is just to select this path select the last node and with the walkway tool keep going like this and like this and there okay so here i can actually mm, keep working and creating different situation as you can see spacebar and these are working 
okay so as you can see here this is another example of how anima can be flexible and powerful at the same time okay so with this video we stop here we will see in the next one